The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. What's happening, everybody? Hey, it's Michael Hellix, and I'm so glad you guys are here. Holy cow, I can't believe how many people are on today. Uh, thank you very, very much for taking the time. And uh, here's the thing. We're going to make this short and sweet. We're going to get right to the point. Uh, I've got Adam Sobieski on the line with me. Adam is like the guy with the knives. And so check it. It's not just knives, but I will tell you this. It's really more the guy with one of the very best ways to, if you're going to give a closing gift, you know, it cracks me up. People give these closing gifts that are just a complete waste of time. If you're going to do something at closing for your clients that you want to have staying power with, something that's going to last them a lifetime, that they're going to have, and every time they look at it, they're going to be thinking about you. Adam's got the product for it. And, and you guys know we don't do a lot of product webinars, but when we do, it's because we use them and we like them and, and we use them in our businesses. Um, and frankly, with Adam's product, I use it in my house too. <laughs> like my, we have, we, everybody in my family has got a favorite uh, product. And, and so m many of you are familiar with Cutco. So Adam owns a company called Sharp Retention, which is essentially a, a Cutco brand, right? So, so they sell Cutco knives. Uh, but I want you to not think of this as just knives. <laughs> and, and I want you to think of this as a client retention tool. So that being said, Adam, why don't we do this? Let's start with, why don't you tell us just a little bit more about who you are and, and, and what we're going to be talking about today. Absolutely. So uh, thanks for the great intro. Uh, yeah, my name is Adam. I'm the founder and owner of Sharp Retention. We're the number one independent distributing Cutco team in the world. We have 10 people on our team and we serve over 6,000 realtors now across the United States and Canada. So uh, we have about an 87% reorder rate year to date. So you know, we don't just talk about client retention, we live it, right? So 80% of our revenue year to date is from repeat reorder clients that are realtors and loan officers. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit, I've been doing this for 14 years and really what we're doing is filling a need right now, according to NAR, uh, per year, realtors are spending $510 million annually on closing gifts. And when you really just ask that question of, hey, Michael, where's your closing gift that you gave to your client 36 months down the road? You know, and the answer to that question is always, I don't know, it's gone, right? They get it, they, 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 <laughs> they break it, spend the gift card, maybe, right? Uh, and last year, $2 billion worth of gift cards went completely unused. So sometimes you think your gift card's getting a touch, but it's not getting used at all. So the whole point of, you know, yeah, a lot of realtors and business people get up, get caught up in giving gifts to clients the same way they do friends and family. They're like, well, he's into baseball, so I want to get him good baseball stuff. Or, oh, they got a house with a pool, so I'm going to get him some pools. So they get up, caught up in what I call gesture gifting, and they forget, well, what is the purpose of giving your client that closing gift, right? What's the purpose of giving it? It really is to, yes, wow them, but people like anything that's free, right? That's the easy part. Give me anything and I'm gonna like it. It doesn't matter if it's wine or home <laughs> or car, whatever. But that's what true. we found is that you have to think longer term than that, right? And that's the biggest mindset shift going from being a short-term thinker to, gosh, okay, so 48 months from now, I wanna guarantee this person remembers me well, that my favorite, their favorite thing in their kitchen they're using every single day is branded with my information. That's a pretty good way to start. You're getting that one brain cell touch every single day over 300 times a year. And Michael, you being just knowing everything about the real estate industry, when you think about everything that's branded in this industry, everything, where is it going to go? It's like this pen. It's going to run out of ink or the notepad or the calendar that doesn't even stick on my refrigerator anymore or the notepad, the newsletter that gets thrown in the garbage can. I'm not saying not to do those things, but everything that's branded right now, if you really think about it with your logo name and info, it's go, it's destined for a garbage can, that's right? It. So what we're doing is we're saying, hey, let's take something that's first class, that really has a lifetime value, just like you want to have that lifetime value with your client, and let's make that into your gift, right? Let's, let's ensure that that client never even has an opportunity to forget about you and the amazing experience that you provided. Because if we're all hunters and going to spend all this time and money running around, lead generating, building our teams, creating this amazing client experience, it doesn't really matter if they don't remember it 36 months down the road. So what we're doing with the Cutco, and if you haven't heard of Cutco, it is the best of the best product. It's like Snap-on tools, Rolls-Royce, it is the yeah. best of the best kitchen products in the world. We put your info on that. It serves as a reminder to that client, but not only the client, it also is in the kitchen, right? Which NAR says is the most used room in the home. So now there's a billboard in their kitchen with our red and white handles 
that literally friends and family see, right? If you see a big red knife out on the counter, people see it and they're like, what is that? Who'd you get that from? Oh, I got that from Michael. But it sparks a conversation that normally wouldn't happen, right? So that's basically the nutshell of what we're doing. And kind of the, the last nail in the coffin as to, you know, why to do this shameless plug type of stuff is that it's tax deductible. You know, the laws with the IRS for the 14 years I've been doing this is that you can only write off $25 as a client gift. That has not changed. Uh, but because our products are brand new, you get to write off the full amount as a promotional item or advertising. So it is Money you're spending either way, you might as well get to deduct it. 90% of the gifts that are given are consumed and gone or sitting on a shelf collecting dust. And then the big thing that Michael, I'm sure, loves about what we do is that it's a system, right? If you're trying to get from 50 deals a year to 100 deals a year or 100 to 200 or whatever, you need to have scalable systems. Mm -hmm. And running around town or trying to figure out, customize every gift to every single client that you pick up, that's not a system. It's a disaster, right? Right. So what we're doing is taking every house that you sell has a kitchen. Every client that you have eats food every single day. So it doesn't matter if they're 53 with three kids or 32 and unmarried, they are going to use the gift. So we're taking that thought process out of your hands as far as what am I going to get? And then usually six months down the road, that gift that you got them was gone. So that's really in a nutshell of what we do. Um, from there, Michael, we can go a bunch of different directions. What, what I really love talking about is the mindset. And Michael, you are a giver, man. Like the biggest thing that I love about you is that you are actually genuinely trying to help people. Like, you, like nobody talks about the ROI on authentically caring about not just your staff, but your end clients, right? And I think that philosophy of do you actually care enough to create this raving fan? Not, you know, okay, let's, what's the system? How do we generate more leads? That's all great, but business comes down to two things relationships and value, right? Those are the two things that business is about because you can be in a relationship all day long, but if you're not actually adding real value, if you're not actually helping people get 17% more when they list their house, it's not a sustainable business. And then as far as value goes or, or you know, relationship goes, you have to actually care about them and be in love with clients. And what I love about what Michael does with Club Wealth and what a lot of the best agents do is they take a vested interest in loving on their clients and their key staff members. And it's not lip service. It's not BS. They actually care. You know, so in order to implement a system, like, why do I care about gifts? You know, why do I even care about my clients? It's because, not just because of the retention and the referrals and that it makes sense because it's five times less expensive to retain a client who refers than it is to go out and hunt for a new client. It's not all the stats that I have that are mind blowing. It's really the, you actually need to care. Like you have to be in the business as a servant Right. We are in the service business. Being a servant leader is what you are, whether you're doing 10 deals a year or 200 deals a year. Adopting that servant mindset, that servant leader mindset of, I'm actually here to help. You can't fake that. But then giving something after that makes people feel, feel special is huge. Because right now, according to Forbes, 70% of consumers feel that their salesperson is indifferent. So that doesn't matter. Real estate sales, loans, insurance. 70% feel that their salesperson is indifferent. Well, how are you going to get referrals from somebody that doesn't even feel the love? They don't even feel like you care, right? You now want me to go out of my way and work for you, right? Introduce you to my neighbor, Steve, and get you a deal, but I don't even feel like you care, right? So when you actually care, right? Like first start with the mindset and philosophy that you have to care and actually be in the business to help people. Then giving somebody a gift that makes them feel special is a no-brainer because when you give somebody a gift, you hit on a bunch of human needs, right? You make them feel significant. You make them feel loved. You make them feel that you care, right? And then it serves as a reminder. So just giving a gift is not enough. It starts with the philosophy and, and mindset of, do you actually care? Are you more in love with your clients or are you more in love with your business model and your systems and your profitability? What do you love more, right? And as high achievers, we have to check ourselves and remind ourselves that we are truly servants here, right? Mm -hmm. No, you're absolutely right about that. You know, it's what yeah. picks me up is people. Uh, there's a lot of people that give it lip service, and and the reality is, it, you can people see through that. Like, if you don't really mean it, if you don't really truly care about the people you're working with, you're not fooling anybody but yourself. And so you have to be authentic, you have to be transparent, and when you are, people appreciate that. I I, I gotta tell you, 
one of the things, in fact, I just, if Natasha, if you're hearing me right now, I'd love for you to go and uh, grab me a, a, a couple of examples of the, of the stuff out of my kitchen. Uh, so if somebody could go grab a couple of my Cutco knives real quick, please, and bring them up here. I freaking love these things. Um, and and I got to tell you, it's not just the knives. It's this. Oh, and here they are. Chicken. Ah, I love it. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Natasha. And Natasha, do you have my, uh, is this the, hold on. I want to make sure this is what I think it is. Can you go grab my shears? Yeah. I no, really, yeah. I'm telling you right now. I freaking love these things. So before we talk about the actual, the, the, cause, and by the way, guys, it's not that we're, I'm not trying to get you to buy this stuff. I'm trying to get you to understand why it's important, right? Um, the number one, regardless of what you do, you have to find ways to connect with your clients and you have to find ways to make sure that after the sale that you maintain not only top of mind, top of, uh, of consciousness, but you have to make sure that they really believe and, and you have to actually care, but they have to really believe that you care. You caring is not enough and you telling them you care is not enough. They have to believe that you actually care and they've got to remember you and you've got to do all kinds of other things in the meantime to keep in touch with them. Uh, so this is one of those tools that's a daily 24 seven kind of a reminder for them. Um, but here's the reality. They freaking love the stuff. These products, I'm going to give you, this is my personal favorite. I'm going to share my personal favorite. It's, it's the shears. These things are ridiculous. Uh, they're not, it's not a pair of cheap, crappy, you know, this is, this is what people think of when they think scissors, they think garbage <laughs> junk here, right? That is not, that's not okay. That's, this is, friends don't let friends use these, right? So, <laughs> I freaking love these shears. These things will literally cut through a penny. I kid you not. And I use them all the time. In fact, I don't use, I don't know why, why I have those other ones in my freaking drawer. They're garbage. Uh, but this is what I use all the time. And it's in our kitchen. And I'm telling you, we fight over this all the time. And, if, and I get ticked when our, my family moves them. And, the, and I'm like, dude, I want that back in the knife block because that's where it goes because I need to be able to get to it. Um, and the spreader, let's see if I've got a spreader here. This is the one everybody, oh, Natasha, can you grab me a spreader, please? Um, I don't have the spreader handy. Okay, that the spreader, spreader is on the, not to interrupt you, is on the Food Network. It's a great Are you piece. serious? Yeah, they did a whole segment on it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm hoping that Natasha will grab me a spreader here. Uh, I know we've got a whole bunch of them here. We actually gave these away to our clients. And when I say we, I really mean Adam was nice enough to, to give all of our clients at one of our recent events these spreaders. And it's I'm telling you, once you've used it, like food will never be the same for you. You'll never, you will never use anything else for your toast or for 10 other million things that you're going to use them for. Let me tell you another one of mine that I really, really love is this baby right here. This is my tomato. Oh, knife. And oh yeah. It's way overkill for a tomato, but I'm telling you, it's like cutting a tomato with a samurai sword. I freaking love this thing. <laughs> uh, I never, my tomatoes are always nice and cleanly cut. There's no, you know, they're not, it, Dude, I freaking love it. And we have we have a garden, right? We were I'm big into farming and all this stuff. So I get this really nice garden. I got all these great fresh tomatoes, and they're like you bite into them and they just explode in your mouth. And uh, and let me tell you, these things cut through them and it doesn't mess them up. But here's the real value with these guys, you guys. This isn't lip service. I'm, I, the reason why I want you to use Adam and Sharp Retention is because it will help you in a place that I know you guys are dropping the ball all the time. And it's not just you, it's everybody out there. It's, it's all these real estate agents out there are dropping the ball on post-sale follow-up. Uh, in fact, I can't remember the actual statistic, Adam, maybe you know off the top of your head, but it's some crazy 80 plus percent of age or of, of, of people who have, who are homeowners today cannot remember the name of their agent. They would use them again, but they can't remember their name. And so do you know the number? Do you remember that number? 85% of people would say they like the realtor and would use them again, but in actuality, only 11% do. And even with attrition in real estate, that's still crazy messed up. You're talking almost 90% of people say they'd use you again and refer you, and in reality, only 10% do. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Achilles heel in real estate has been for a long time and still is, and is really our mission to help fix it, is retention and referrals, referral business. You ask any top agent, hey, what if you got one referral from every client you have each year and they look at you cross-eyed like that like it's not even possible yeah. you know and so when you really look at it yeah it's 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 abysmal you know it, it is really at best and so and really the biggest challenge you were just talking about farmer it's the hunter versus farmer mindset you yeah. know really keeping in mind making your primary question what am i building here right what am i actually building is the close of the sale the close of the relationship or the beginning of the relationship so many people look at it so backward, 
the close of the sale is the beginning of the relationship. Right. Not, and uh, it's not about a commission check, right? It's about the lifetime value of this person if they're a raving fan. You just hit the it's, nail on the head. If that's something people need to understand is what's the lifetime value of my client? And I'm telling you guys, it's six figures. It's at least six figures. You have to connect with your clients. Now, you guys all hear me say this. You know, I, I always tell people if more than 50% of your business is re repeat and referral, it means you suck at marketing, right? And I do believe that because the average real estate agent, they get about 61% of their business comes from repeat and referral clients. But the reality is you got to pick, you got to really understand that statistic. The reality is that's because most agents only do two to four transactions a year and it's and it's their friends and family and they don't do anything to get referrals from it. It's just, I happen to know this guy and that's the only person that'll do business with me. So here's what we're talking about. We want to build an actual business, right? We want to build a team. We want to build a business. We want predictability in that business. We're going to have all kinds of different lead sources. We're going to treat these lead sources like gold. We're going to give them world-class service. And then we're also, as part of that, we're going to deliver massive value at every turn that's, that's completely selfless. We're just going to come from contribution, and because of that, we're going to develop these relationships, and they're going to be compelled to re refer people to us on a regular basis. And so what happens is the number of referrals we get goes way up. As a percentage of our overall business, it actually shrinks because we create all these other lead sources. But the number of referrals goes way, way, way up. And let me tell you something. They're the easiest people to work with. They're the most profitable people to work with. It is, there's no question that you want to build your business by referral. Now, I'm noticing that we've got some coaches on the line. So if you're one of our club health coaches and you'd like, just raise your hand and I'll be happy to add you on the video. And, I, and there's one in particular that's on that would absolutely make this a much better looking call. No offense, Adam. Uh, but it would be great if she would, if she would uh, allow me to turn her camera on. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I know she's using you guys as well. Uh, but you guys, that being said, I do have the, before we go, and by the way, if you have questions, type them in your questions box. We'll answer your questions as we go along. Um, Adam, I, I know before you've got something to add, but before you do, I want to share, if there is only one thing that you ever give away, if there is only one closing gift you ever give anybody ever, here's the one thing that you give them. It's this bad boy right here. Dude, let me yeah. just tell you something. This thing is gold. This is the spreader. Look how thin it is. It's what's really cool is it bends. It's awesome. Like once you've done toast or a bagel or something with this, you'll never go to anything else. This is this is the one that everybody in my family fights over. This is the one every and we've got several of them in our drawer. That's how often they get used. <laughs> They're always in the dishwasher because we've always been using them. Uh, and so anyway, this is the one. And look at that. Check out the. Can you guys see the logo on there? So see my how cool that is. It's got our logo on there. It's got, you know, Club Wealth, World Class Coaching, World Class Results. It's got our phone number on there. So, and it's got this bright red handle. So when it's sitting in somebody's drawer, they're looking at all these other things. They got brown handles, black handles, whatever, and this one with the red handle. And, it, and some people would tell me, oh, that red handle's ugly. Dude, who cares? Listen, don't worry about that. I promise it's going to stay in their drawer and it's going to stand out and they're going to use it and it's going to make it easier to find in the drawer. And so, which, which gets it used even more. And guess whose freaking information's on this thing? It will never go anywhere. They are freaking awesome. Now, I'm already getting questions on this, Adam. People are asking me how much. Uh, and so I know you're going to cover that. But, Adam, you got to add to that. Talk to us. Yeah. So, as far as pricing goes, guys, our main goal, most of our gifts are between about 50 bucks and 200 bucks, which really across the country and Canada is really what most agents are spending right now, between 50 and 200, depending on the size of the closing. Um, the spreaders, are in the 60-ish range, depending on there's both discounts. Um, so really, it, it depends on how many you order. Our goal is to get you guys gifts done for the year, right? I'm sitting here talking about systems. The whole point is that we ship you a year supply of gifts, and then we bill that over five or 10 months with no interest. So let's say you're going to do 120 deals this year. Order at our 100 level, right? We, buy, we actually buy you an additional 20, so you'd be getting 20% off the price per unit of whatever you like. And then we take that total and bill it over five or 10 months with no interest. So it's very easy on cash flow. And the biggest thing that I remind people, if you look at your P&L, this is money you're already spending. We're just diverting funds. We're not the new CRM. We're not the new website. We're not the new, there's a lot of trinkets out there for realtors. Guess what? Y'all are already spending this money either way. It's just being spent on those gift cards and baskets and floofy stuff that doesn't last, right? Not that they don't like it but you all are spending this money. We are in the diversion of funds business. We're taking $510 million 
that's being blown per year on those gift cards and diverting it to a better option. Um, that is really what we're doing. So again, you just order, so it like, for example, you do 50 deals a year, you order at the 50 level, you get like eight for free at that level. We build over five or 10 months. So you can contact me. I'm just Adam at sharpretention.com. So that's sharp like a knife, retention, R-E-T-E-N-T-I-O-N.com. And uh, just put Club Wealth in there. You get a, a special because we're meeting you through Michael. So we do special pricing for Club Wealth. So just email me or find me on Facebook. Happy to help you guys out. Um, and Michael, thank you. you. You, Michael does a better job of pitching this at, at, uh, than me because he actually believes in it. And you, you know, the bottom line is, you know, we're talking about auth authenticity and authentically caring. You just, you can't fake it, man. Every, things get so scripted and I love scripts like everybody else, but if you don't actually believe in what you're saying. It just doesn't matter. You know, people feel authenticity. So I appreciate that. I appreciate a lot of things about you, Michael. That, that would be one of them. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that. That's very nice. And you know what? That's a Club Wealth thing. It's not a Michael thing. It's everybody in Club Wealth is really that way. That's one of the things I really like about the group is there's so many really smart people that that, that care and that really do want to help everybody else out. And they're just very, it's a very giving group. And and so, and so that's why it's Club Wealth. It's not Michael Hellickson's coaching. It's Club Wealth, man. It's all of us. Right? It's, like, it's like the Knights of the Round Table. We're all equal. We're all, we're all at the table. And, and, and in this case, we're at the table with a Cutco spreader or maybe some Cutco steak knives. <laughs> dude, I, love I think you love these things. Look at these steak knives. So what's really – I don't want to – I, 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 sh I want to be like a QVC commercial, right? Like I, I want to be that – You could be. You definitely could be. Dude, I would totally love it, man. I, like, I, I watch your English bar and video all the time. I know. I always show people like the little diamond edge. I don't know if they'll even focus in on this. See, that's the videographer here, but it's got like these, these like three different cuts on it. Like it, these things don't get dull. And and by the way, if they do, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, free sharpening forever, forever guaranteed. We've been around since 1949. We have a thousand factory workers. Here's the other thing you guys are doing. We have American jobs. We provide a thousand factory jobs for workers in Ole in New York. That town would not have an economy without the Cutco factory there. That's real. We also make, if you're a fan of, you know, uh, supporting the military, every single knife that the U.S. military uses is made in our factory. K-Bar knives wow. that the Navy SEALs make, that the Army makes, every single knife that's used to protect this country and our freedom is made by our factory workers in Ole in New York. So you talk about supporting an American-made product. These are all made by hand. So that's the other thing, too. People think these are coming out of a machine. Go on to YouTube, type in Cutco Travel Channel, and you will see the – it's like eight minutes if you want to get the nuggets. Eight to 15-minute segment on the steps. There's like 100 steps in making a Cutco knife. It's wild. And, and no joke, because I've been to the factory, obviously, multiple times – there are generations of factory workers and families that like your dad used to put that double D diamond edge on and now you do. It, it's wild. So you want to talk about supporting an American made product, American jobs, and the company that makes all the K-Bar knives for the U.S. military and Navy SEAL. That's what we're talking about here. You know, it's not some made in China junk. You know, that's what I always say. People are like, well, I could get a whole set of knives for 60 bucks at Walmart. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's okay. You know, money tends to follow value, right? At the end of the day. So uh, just really interesting that story behind it. By now I've got this image in my mind all of a sudden of a Navy SEAL, like he's in the middle of the night and he's in the Afghan desert somewhere and he's sneaking up on one of these Taliban guys and he, and he whips out his crypto spreader. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and you know what, Michael? You know that that thing would work, man. I'd do a full autopsy on somebody with that spreader. No problem. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's horrible. That's crazy. I love it. All right. Hey, real quick. I want to type it into the chat box so people can get it. And then I've got something else to say about about the whole process. or the, Not the process, but the whole the, the whole uh, philosophy behind this. So, uh, so what's your email address? Really slow. One more time. Yes. It's Adam, A-D-A-M, at sharp like a knife. Uh, so sharp retention, R E T E N T I O N dot com. Okay, I just Adam. put that in the in the chat box for all of you. So you, when when you do reach out to Adam, you got to remember to tell him you're with Club Well. So yes, that, so that you know, because we get a special deal down there. They give you they give you some extra stuff. And so now that being yeah. said. The one thing I want to I want to make sure, and we don't we won't take much more of your time, you guys. But the one thing I want you to be thinking in the back of your mind is this: Why in the freaking world would I give somebody a bottle of wine 
what all they're going to do is they're going to drink it and it's going to be gone. And there, and there's no long-term value for me to give somebody a bottle of wine at the end of, at, at closing. And I'm going to spend 50 to a hundred dollars on a good bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne or whatever. I, or some people are like, Oh, I get them Don Perignon. Great. Yeah. You go spend two to $400 on your Don Perignon. They're going to go get smashed and they're going to forget about that closing gift next week. Right. They'll remember it the next morning because they'll have a hangover. But that but the next week it's gone. Right. You need to make sure that it's got retentive value. It has to be something they're going to keep for a lifetime. And for 50 or 60 bucks or whatever it is, dude, seriously, literally do this. Get the spreader. Just give them one of those. This I pri and, and by the way, if you really want to go nuts, get them the shears, man. What, how much are these, by the way? These are sick. Those are right around 100. And those are amazing. Dude, freaking people <laughs> freak out about these shears. They, they like you call, call Coach Christy Lundy, right? She's one of our coaches. Yeah. Well, well. You talk to Christy Lundy about her shears. She freaking goes insane about her shears. They are that awesome. Um, and so that being said, you guys reach out to Adam. And I, I tell you, look, the, if you're going to give a closing gift, you have to give something that will last in these last. So, Adam, anything else to add before we wrap up? Yeah, just for me in closing, I just want to kind of reiterate on the what are you building topic. You know, a lot of talk has happened, and I kind of play Switzerland on the whole thing on uh, we're being held hostage to Zillow and this and that. And I'm like, if you understand what you're building and what you own as a realtor or as a mega agent or whatever, you don't own the property, you don't, you don't own the IP, you don't own the technology, you own a database. It's a book of human beings. It's client relationships. If you're sick of being held hostage to your lead gen systems, whatever they may be, Zillow, what, whatever, as long as you have a database full of raving fan clients and you're doing 70, 80, 90% repeat referral business, you're not held hostage to anybody, right? Michael's not held hostage to anybody because he owns the client relationships. He's in relationship with raving fans. He adds value, right? And at the end of the day, your business as a realtor or as what Michael and I do, your business is only as strong as its key client relationships and employee relationships. Yep. That's it. Right. Unless you own the IP or the real estate, which no, that's not what these businesses are about. That is what you own. So keep that in mind when you're when you're thinking about why would I even do a gift in general? Because some people have to get over that hurdle first before like our gift. It already wins. It's such a no brainer. The best gift that really the mindset that a lot of people have to overcome is why. Right. And that's really the reason why you are building a database so that you own your business and you are not held hostage to working too hard, cold call, all the things that you have a business that pays you because you built it the right way. You know, and when I, when I sold my real estate business, that's what I sold. It was the database. And I was able to sell it because of the relationships I had with those people were deep. These people, and, and still to this day, I get calls all the time from people that say, Michael, you know, I, 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 you know, you sold me my house and I want to, I, I'm getting ready to sell that one now and buy another one. And I'm, and I'm referring to them that right back to that person that bought my business, but I was able to do that again because top of mind, top of awareness, top of consciousness, you know, these people remember and appreciate and had a relationship with us that lasted for many years. All right. That being said, you guys reach out to Adam. It's Adam at sharp retention. That's S H A R P. R-E-T-E-N-T-I-O-N. It's in your chat box. Reach out to him. Make sure he knows you're from Club Wealth. And what's really cool, again, is you can spread this out. You don't have to just write this big huge check all of a sudden. You've got, you get the, uh, and, and you can base it on your production for the year. So you're not spending any money you're not already going to spend. You're just choosing to spend it more wisely. Instead of spending it on BS garbage like bottles of wine and whatever other closing gift you're giving people that goes away, you're spending on something that's going to be there and they're going to remember and they're going to appreciate for many years to come. So Adam, thank you so very much for being with us today and everybody on the call. I can't, I'm serious. stoked. we have a ton of people on the call today uh, and you're still here. Like, I love it. And so, <laughs> I was like, right on. It's good to see you guys. Shout out to John Carlson, by the way. It's good to see you brother, Misty Bruton, Michelle uh, Marinelli, Michelle Ferquist, Nat Guinness, Phil Heyer. I mean, gee, I could go on and on and on. All you guys that are on the call, Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We love you guys, and uh, thank you for being a part of Club Wealth. And we're committed to bringing you more of these great things uh, that we find that work in our business. And just, and by the way, that's another thing I want to share. And this, I'll end on this. I will not promote anything that I don't use. 
I will not promote anything that I don't 100% believe in. And I want you guys to understand, there are a lot of people that want to pay us a lot of money because Clubhouse is huge now. Like, we got a lot of clout in the industry. we got a lot of influence in the industry. There's a lot of people that would love to pay us to promote their products. And we don't promote most of them. The vast majority we say no to because we don't believe in it and we don't use it ourselves. I will only promote things that we use ourselves and we use sharp retention. We love these guys. And by the way, that's why we allow them to come to our events. That's why we share their stuff once in a while. We like to do the kind of the Oprah giveaway thing. And, uh, you know, we historically we've had some pretty cool giveaways at our events. And guess what? The last two events, we've given away sharp retention stuff. Why? Because I freaking love it and I use it in my business. And oh, by the way, because I want you to remember us. I want you to remember Club Wealth. So we're using it with you so that you will have it in your drawer and you'll be like, I got this from Club Wealth. I love those guys. And so, dude, let me tell you, we practice what we preach. You should too. Have an awesome day, everybody. Adam, anything to add before we wrap up? Have the best day of your life, Michael. We, uh, we appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for all you do. My pleasure. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Again, my name is Michael Hudson with Club Wealth. Remember, inside each and every one of you is this world-class beast just dying to get out. But you got to choose to unleash that beast. you got to choose that today I'm going to be world-class. Maybe you don't feel like you're world-class every day. And maybe you won't feel like it tomorrow. But at every opportunity, choose to be world-class. Do something great for somebody. Lift somebody up. Give them hope. Do something to help someone have a better day, to succeed in whatever it is they want to succeed at. And you will be amazed when you give it out in slices. It comes back in the lows. Have an awesome day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Awesome. Michael.